everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video you know guys today i was going to start working on my jamie fraser from the outlander show doll i've actively teased this project on my instagram by the way subscribe to my instagram i post all kinds of spoilers and teasers and daily updates and my stories there so, I've teased this project very actively on Instagram, many people were excited about it, but you know guys, to be honest, I've just repainted four different Barbie dolls in a very short period of time, like literally in two weeks, four Barbie dolls. First, I've repainted these two girls for my mom, they're still standing there on the background, I still have to send them. Uh, then I've repainted Margot Robbie as a Barbie, that doll is already on the way to the new owner, and then I've just finished repainting my cat. Doll. He's also still there standing with the girls, sharing his energy with two other Barbie dolls. And you know, honestly guys, I feel slightly burned out. I feel like I have enough of Barbie dolls. I feel like I have for the moment enough of realistic doll faces. Right now I want to make something cartoonish. I want to go back to some interesting skin tones, to big doll eyes, to all kinds of cartoonish characters, so let's take a quick break from Barbie dolls and let's repaint a new Monster High doll. And then I will come back to this Jamie Fraser project. And by the way, I would really love to hear, guys, if you're interested in me making the Jamie Fraser doll, because people on Instagram are, but I would really love to hear the feedback from my YouTube crowd. So please let your opinion down in the comments. So, and today we're going to repaint a brand new Monster High doll. You know, I went online to see what's new on the market and I found this absolutely beautiful brand new Abby doll. I didn't know they released this new Abby doll. I didn't know it existed and honestly I think this is one of the prettiest Monster High dolls on the market at the moment. So of course I immediately bought this doll and now we're going to open this box, we're going to take a look at her original outfit, features, accessories, all these things. And then I will wipe her face off with pure acetone and I will give this doll a complete makeover. So, this being said, let's start working, but of course, of course, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. I upload new doll makeovers every week Friday or every second week Friday, depends on how big the project is. And yes, please, of course, support my art here on YouTube with your likes, because it really helps my channel. So, and now, yes, I've said everything, now let's start the makeover. So, this is the doll without the box, and you know, I still think she's super beautiful. I would really use this doll as a model for a new mini-me doll. This is how much I like this doll, and also the body type is on point. I'm really thinking about making a new mini-me doll, because the old one got kind of tired after going with me to Iceland. Also, by the way, write it in the comments if you would be interested in me making a new version of Mini-Me. So, she has very pretty and very long hair. I really like this blend. It's like pastel pink and blue with some tinsel. Really gorgeous. Very, very pretty. I noticed that she has these kind of horns, tiny horns. This is new. The old Abbey didn't have it. I really like this detail. And her hands are still bigger hands, the bigger ones, and they also have this kind of claws, also like this detail. The outfit honestly doesn't say that much to me. Uh, it's okay, but nothing too special, I don't know, I'm not really charmed by her outfit. Uh, this fur thing is truly terrifying, <laughs> it's simply horrible. This is a very bad quality fur, so no, this thing has to go. So I will quickly show you all the accessories, check it out, she has a backpack, it looks like a snowflake and it's openable, really nice. Glasses. A drink, also very cute. Snacks, cell phone, like all of these new dolls, and a tiny mammoth friend called Tundra. So, this is the set, 
everything looks really cute, but you know, I think I can turn this doll into a real beauty. She has the full potential for it, she has a very beautiful face. So now let's undress her, let's remove her face with acetone, and yeah, let's start from zero. So I want to keep her original color scheme because this is what I do in this series of makeovers of the new Monster High dolls. I kind of turn these Monster High characters into themselves, but a better version of themselves. So she will have a blue skin, deep purple eyeshadows, very dark purple, like almost black lipstick. And the only thing that I want to change today is the color of her eyes. She has originally purple eyes, but I think I want to make them a mix of purple and kind of very light bluish green. I think it will make her eyes very pretty and very contrast.
In the end, I add white freckles to her face. I think it will look great on her. We're done with her face, guys. I still need to blush her body, but I think I will first use her body to make her outfit and shoes, and then I will blush the body in the very end. So for her outfit, I want to use this iridescent fabric again. You've seen it already before on my channel and in my Instagram. I've used it already in my Margot Robbie Barbie video to make an upper skirt for her, but I don't think this fabric has opened its potential on my channel again, so I'm going to use it today one more time, and I'm going to make a beautiful iridescent dress for my Yeti princess today. So I'm going to start with making a sheer top, because I want to this fabric to be kind of folded multiple times to fully show this color shifting abilities, the iridescent effect. And for this I'm going to lay a couple of rows of stitches and then I will gather these threads to form a top perfectly around the doll's torso. Okay, this is the top, I will let it for now, and now I will make a skirt. The skirt will also be multi-layered, and it will also be very gathered, to show like the special effect. The shoulders of the dress I want to decorate with white fur. And this is it, I think. Check it out, this is the finished dress. It looks so multi-dimensional, so iridescent, really absolutely beautiful. Such a beautiful fabric. I should make more outfits out of this fabric.
So now I want to make a pair of shoes for her and you know I actually really like the bottom part of her original shoes, like this icy part. But I'm really totally not impressed with the top of the shoes. So I think I want to cut this top off and I want to create new shoes using the bottom part of this existing shoes and also some warbler thermoplastic. Let's see what I can make out of it. And check it out. I don't know. I think the shoes turned out really beautiful. Now let's paint them and then I will decorate them with some white fur. Okay guys, the shoes are finished, the dress is finished and it means that now I can finally blush her body and add some white freckles to her body as well.
Good, the body is finished and now I think I want to work on her hair. I'm going to start with braiding her hair close to her face and then I will roll these braids up around her horns to create like some space bands of sort. I really love that they gave her these tiny horns. Abby didn't have them before, but you know, I feel like these horns will not be visible enough if I give her big curly hair. So I want to kind of emphasize these horns with space buns. I'm curling the rest of the hair. While her curls are setting, I can attach false lashes and also add gloss to her eyes and lips. And after this, I will make her curls loose and pretty and fluffy. And after this, we will take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, this is my finished Yeti princess and to be honest, I don't really know how I ended up making a winter doll in the middle of summer. I just kind of went with the flow and this is where I've ended up with it. So I think I will dedicate this doll to all my beautiful people, to all the beautiful audience I have in the southern hemisphere, Australia, South Africa, Argentina, other countries. How are you doing there guys? It's winter for you now normally. but. Anyway, Belgian summer is probably very similar to Australian winter, at least in some parts of Australia. I'm pretty sure about it. Here it's just raining non-stop already for a week. So, winter people, this makeover is for you and I'm really waiting for you in the comments to see how many people who live in the southern hemisphere I have here on my channel. So, and now let's talk about Abby. I still think this is one of the most beautiful Monster High dolls in this new collection, in this Gen 3 Monster High dolls. I regret a little bit, of course, that they have decided to remove Abby's heavy jawline as a main feature. It was very beautiful and it was very unique for a doll. But I also like this new beautiful Abby a lot, to be honest, so I will forgive the makers for this adjustment. This is an amazing doll. And I also really like the way she looks after the makeover. I think she really looks like a real Yeti princess right now. I'm very happy with this makeover, with this face up. So, and now guys, I want to hear your opinion about this doll and about this makeover. Please, let's discuss it in the comments under this video. And if you want to buy this doll, you can check out my eBay store. She's there available for three days right now. And the link you can find in the description box under this video. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon in the next video, probably in two weeks on Friday. Or maybe next week on Friday. I'm working on three different projects at the same time. So it's a little bit too early for me to predict if I will be able to finish anything on time. So, but anyway, it will not be that 
Cyclone. I'm also planning a couple of very interesting shorts, reels uh, in the upcoming days. So subscribe here, subscribe on Instagram. Have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.